Uh, I just arrived at Costco and I have this fascination with watching other people grocery shop so I can see what kind of products that they find at different stores to give me an idea what to buy when I'm at those stores. So today I thought I'd bring you all in with me to go shopping at Costco to show you what healthy things I find for a good price. Maybe some not so healthy things too because everybody needs a treat every once in a while. I will also be showing you the prices for everything. On this channel, we talk about food and fitness to help us all in our health journey. Whether you're just starting out or you've been doing this for a long time, we can all learn from one another. So if you have any information to share, please leave a comment below. And if you wanna join this food and fitness family, hit the subscribe button. If you want more videos like this where I take you shopping with me, hit the like button. Quick tip for coming to Costco when it's busy. Don't go by the, in the center aisle where there's a lot of people trying to get around one another. Come to the side aisle. There's usually not that many people here. I usually buy this three pound bunch of organic bananas here. I use them for banana pancakes for the kids or for myself um, to eat as is, to use in smoothies. And when there's extra, cause you get so many, when they start turning brown, I just put them in the freezer to use in smoothies or baked goods in the future. I like getting mini potatoes for dinner at 73 cents a pound. I really do think that that is a good price. I do not think that their sweet potatoes are a good price. They come out at about a dollar per pound, which I'm pretty sure I get them at a better price elsewhere. Their yellow onions come out to be 49, 50 cents a pound, which is an awesome price if you actually are gonna use those 10 pounds of onions. I mean, they do last a little bit in your pantry and you could put onions in lots of different dishes. And I buy them sometimes. And they have these sweet onions that come out to be about 69, 70 cents a pound. Again, this is a good, good buy. I like buying these mushrooms. I use them for my breakfast with my eggs. I use them in salads and dinners. I love mushrooms and they're a good price here. They come out to be about $4 a pound for this nice size. So you get this nice size for $5.99. If you shop at Costco, you've got to know that their organic spinach is a great price. You get this pound for $3.99 a pound. And here's a tip for you. Look at the bottom and make sure there's not a lot of moisture there or wet leaves. If there is, do not buy it because it will go bad on you fast. Otherwise, this lasts me in the fridge for about two weeks. And I do like getting the spinach over the spring mix, which they have over here, because with the spinach, you, it's much more versatile. I use it in my, in my eggs in the morning. I use it in smoothies. I can use it for dinner, because you could cook with it. Whereas the spring mix, you're pretty much stuck to salads or anything where you're gonna be eating it fresh like that. You can't cook with it, and I don't think it would be very good in a smoothie. I do like buying this organic broccoli. You get three pounds for $6.99. It's a good price as far as organic goes, but if you were to buy conventional, it would be cheaper. However, it is already cut up for you, so you don't have to worry about cutting it up, so it does save you some time there. I usually have a bag of these organic car carrots in the fridge. It's 10 pounds for $8.49 and you can use them in dinners like soups and stews and asian meals you can put them in your salad i cut them up for the kids and we go through them pretty quickly because i also feed them to our dog in his dinner it's always a must for me to have lemons on hand i love it in my water and my tea to make salad dressings or just to squirt on my salad i also use it a lot to flavor dinners even the rind because you get this five pound bag for $5.69. So it comes out to be $1.13 per pound. I like getting these organic apples for my kids. I prefer to get it organic because they're one of the things that are heavily sprayed with pesticides. These come out to be $1.49 per pound. So you get this bag for $4.49. I really like the variety of organic frozen fruit they have here. They have cherries and strawberries, blueberries, and mango and they're all a really good price 
especially for organic. My kids have been loving to eat these organic blueberries just as they are. I'll put them on their breakfast. They'll have them in a bowl as a snack, even when they're straight out of the freezer. We also use the berries in smoothies, overnight oats, oatmeal, yogurt. A couple weeks ago, I purchased this organic vegetable mix to use in soups and stews maybe a pasta sauce or whatever, just in a pinch if I didn't have any vegetables left at home. The only thing with uh, frozen vegetables like this is they get really cold fast unless you put it in something warm, so it doesn't really work very good as a side dish. I really like this organic turkey to use in dinners or salads, and it's a good price. It's $4.99 a pound. I get a variety of their organic chicken here, so we got the drumsticks, for $1.79 a pound. We got the thighs, they're boneless, skinless. I wish they sold some bone on and skin on because that's a nice thing to have sometime for $3.99 a pound. We got the organic whole chicken for $1.99 a pound and the organic chicken breast for $4.99 a pound. I used to buy this ground beef until I found out they have ground beef at Aldi that's 100% grass-fed cow for a little bit over $5 a pound. And the price here is $4.99. 99 a pound. I snuck off to somewhere quieter um, just to tell you that speaking of grass-fed organic beef, I recently put in a pre-order with a local farmer for organic grass-fed cow for a quarter of a cow. I'm super excited because it's only costing me $3.50 per pound and that's including steak, stew meat, ground beef, and roast, which is an awesome price. I wouldn't even buy steak and roast organic because it's so expensive but 350 per pound for everything is an awesome price when i'm at costco i usually like to check out what kind of wild caught fish they have so they have the stock eyed salmon and i purchased it before it was good it tasted good um, however when i watch gordon ramsay do his recipes it seems like the cut he has is just i don't know it's butchered better or something where this seems like a little more mangled than um what he's working with. Uh, well, that's farmed. I wouldn't want that. They have wild caught Alaskan, co Alaskan cod today. Um, they have walleye, wild caught walleye. That looks pretty good. Years ago, I used to buy this wild caught smoked salmon and eat it every day. However, I haven't been buying it anymore. It is $18.99 a pound. So it does taste good though. They also have a wild caught stock eye salmon, which I have purchased before, but it's been a long time. We were over at our friend's house the other day and they made it and it was really good. They also have this wild Atlantic cod and the wild mahi-mahi. They do not have any wild caught shrimp here, which bums me out. Even when they have their like seafood roast show where they have a a case out with fresh fish. I did find some at Aldi the other day, so I bought it there. I buy these organic chicken nuggets for my kids. The ingredients are pretty good. So there's chicken breast, flour, corn flour. It's all organic though. Um, there's a little bit of sugar, spices. I don't really like when they put spices. That means there could be MSG in it natural extracts of some paprika i think that's okay natural flavors i don't like so they're okay i would prefer that they didn't put that stuff in there maybe one day i'll buy a different brand for my kids these 100 percent grass-fed beef patties taste really good they're not organic they're just grass-fed um, for grass-fed though they are a pretty good price um, they are pretty high in calories because they're high in fat, but they taste really good. I buy these hot dogs for my kids and my husband because they like hot dogs. The ingredients in them are okay. They could be better. Applegate makes a much cleaner hot dog. However, it's their hot dogs are like 7 or $8 for a small little pack. And these are $14.99 for three big packs. So I try to balance it out. Like these aren't the best, but they're not the worst. You get three big packs. I probably only keep like half a pack in the fridge at a time where the rest are kept in the freezer so we can have them for a while. I really like this organic turkey breast lunch meat. It's humanely raised. There's only three ingredients 
which is the turkey breast, the water, and the sea salt. And it's low in fat, high in protein. I love keeping it on hand for salads. And I also feed it to my kids and they like it. The other thing about this is that the expiration date is usually a couple months out. So you have a while to use it. I mean, obviously if you open it up, you have to use it within like five days or a week or something like that. You can keep an unopened pack in your fridge for a while. So it comes out to $8.17 a pound. And compared to the other lunch meat here at Costco, that's much pricier than what else you find here. However, if you were going to compare it to premium brands at a regular grocery store, it's really not that much more. And you're getting organic and only has three ingredients. There's no fillers. You're getting all good stuff. So we really like this Kirkland thick cut bacon. It tastes really, really good. I wish it did have better ingredients, but it is a nice treat. I wish they did not put nitrates in it. As you could see, it has nitrates in it, which is pretty disappointing, but the thick cut, it just tastes so good. We have tried this bacon before, and although it's uncured, it doesn't have any nitrates, it's thin cut, and we just didn't really like it. I wish we did. I wish they made a, a thicker cut of this. I really like this hickory smoked turkey bacon. It doesn't have any nitrates. The ingredients are pretty good and it's much lower in fat than pork bacon so it's much easier to fit into my diet than the pork bacon. I have purchased these a few times. Um, Canadian bacon. I like that it's really low in fat and high in protein. However, I don't like that it's got the natural flavorings in there which I'm finding out are not so natural so I'm trying to stay away from those. These chicken sausages are so good. I swear they used to be organic here. Um, they're $11.99 for this package, which is like $6 a pound. Um, I swear they used to be like $13 or $14 and they were organic. So I think the product switched a little bit. Um, but let's see, we got eight grams of fat for 12 grams of protein and three links. So this morning I had one link with my breakfast. Sometimes I have two with, some, with an egg and some egg whites. I love these, they taste so good. Everybody in my family really loves them. My son will eat like four, five or six of them.